you want your home to reflect your personality, why buy the same old furniture that everybody else is buying online or at the mall? Well, Lori Finke says there's a better way to create a home you love and make it look unique. We're so glad you're here. Thank nice you. to have you. I'm excited to be back in Nashville. Yeah, so you are with Jane Thompson Antiques yes. out of Kentucky. Yes. And you're here for the Antiques and Garden Show. Don't you think a lot of folks have misconceptions about antiques? You know, they're for old people, they're too expensive, they're too stuffy. Absolutely. I feel like people think of antiques as being your grandmother's thing yeah. and in something that you know nobody really wants this but nobody wants brown wood or anything but that's the color of wood and good <laughs> right. old wood has beautiful color much much better than any modern piece you're going to buy today. Yeah so we're going to talk about how to incorporate antiques into your home. We've got some beautiful pictures that you sent along of, of some of your clients work mm -hmm. even things in your own home. Mm -hmm. Why antiques? Why do you think they add so much to a home? Again, they bring a richness of character. I mean, good old wood will have a beautiful patina. It'll have marks. It'll have history. It'll have something you can't replicate today. And, and this is your son right here. Yes, that is actually a table that I inherited from my grandmother. It's an American piece. And we put it over there and bring it out for puzzles and things like that. And he gets to know the history that it was his grandmother's yeah. piece and it was built and built to last. That's wonderful. A lot of pieces today that are made may last 20 years and someone will dispose of them. And that table is probably 120 years old. So we've got a couple of great pictures of one of your clients homes mm -hmm. uh, with an adorable little girl who's popping up in every picture. But you think that you really don't need to have a whole room full of antiques. No, and I think, you know, I think that way of decorating has kind of gone by the wayside. Mm -hmm. No one's going to have an 18th century room like they used to. Yeah. But this room, we incorporated some old wooden pieces to bring the beautiful color in, and then we mixed in the modern sofa and more modern upholstery, which is much more comfortable. People yeah. in the period pieces weren't as big as modern Americans, so maybe the older chairs don't work, but you mix it with a modern sofa and it works yeah, great. Yeah, it works terrific. Now you are a second generation antiquer. Your mom, uh, yes. Jane Thompson, has had a booth and I guess a store too in Kentucky yes. for, for a long time. Yeah, she did it straight out of college and since 1990 we've been Jane Thompson Antiques and we've been involved with the Nashville show for over 20 years. That's wonderful. This is your booth from last year. For somebody who's coming to a show like this for the first time and feeling a little overwhelmed, how do you shop? I would say talk to the dealers. We're all there to not sell like a used car, or, you know, be pushy. We're here to educate you and show you, you know, why this piece is wonderful. Ask questions. And if you see a dealer's style you like, ask them, I know you may not have this piece here, but do you have it back in your inventory? Because that's something we can't bring everything. We have about 10,000 sure. square feet of things to fit in a 20 by 20 booth. So this urn you actually bought last year. I found it on a neighbor's booth. At my Michael Hall had it and I looked at it all during the show and I kept thinking I needed something. So I found that and took it home and put it on my front porch. I'll tell you what, don't be scared of antiques. They really do add a lot of character. Yes, so please come to the show this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You can look for Lori at the Antiques and Garden Show. It's this Friday through Sunday over at the Music City Center. We are back with more for your chances for some of us to see some snow next.